Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Oreo Lua and I will be making a very short video today on how to get over a breakup. Um, so here is the video. The first thing I want you to realize is that um, if you are a child of God and you decided to do the breakup, whether you were the dumpy or they were the dumper, either way, um, you will feel pain and you need to validate that pain. Um, obviously, you might, might have come here a few minutes or a few seconds or a day or two or even a month after the breakup happened or years actually to watch the video on YouTube that is centered around Christian dating and how I will give you tips that I would that will be helpful to get over a breakup. All these are from personal experiences. They, they've been tested and tried and they worked for me. So, not that I've been through a lot of breakups, but um, this breakup that happened was a very painful one. And I wanted to share with you guys will help me go through them in a healthy way. So first thing is when you've gone through a breakup, the first thing you should do is reach out to somebody. The worst thing you can ever do to yourself is to think you can do it by yourself. Um, I think the death of a relationship is grief and it's pain and you don't want to go through that yourself. The first thing I would recommend is to um, reach out to a person, a person you trust, a person you can rely on, a person that can talk to you. It can be at your church, it can be a, a pastor, it can be a leader, it could be a mentor, it could be a friend. Uh, it could be someone that you could um, rely on and call them or text them or even show up in the house and say, oh, I broke up and cry. Um, that's the first thing I would recommend you do. Also, I would recommend that you you believe that things will get better. I know now you cannot see a reason why things will get better. I know you probably in a lot of pain, like, like what's going on? You're in denial, you're in shock, you're trying to back in and see if truly they really left you, but or you left them. But here's the catch. If God told you to do something and God has made you do this, you should rely on him to the end. Pray. Um, Pray, pray hard, pray, pray hard, because God knows why he let this happen to you. And trust that he has a plan out of this. So pray about it and cry. Cry, like cry, cry. Don't keep the feelings in, because bottling the feelings in is not a good idea either way. And I'll, another tip I would give is to um, actually try and see if you could um, change your ringtone. I know it's strange, but... There's a theory called the Pavlov's dog theory where you, um, your our brain is programmed to react to different things. So the first I would advise you change your ringtone. Um, delete the numbers of your phone. I know some people say reach out with your hex or talk to them, but I think for, for you to heal, especially if you want to heal from that relationship, the best advice I would give you is to delete the numbers of your phone, um, delete your um, phone records, um, obviously block them on social media for a while, if you keep, or forever, honestly, it doesn't matter. It should get better. At this point, all that matters is your feelings. Because now you're single, you don't have to care about what they think anymore. You have to think about what you feel. So um, next thing you do is delete the numbers of your phone or like delete it. If you want to be your friends, let it be after you, you know, you, you, you heal, not when you're presently breaking up with them. I know some people say, oh, that we can be friends or we go to the same church. I understand, but like I said again, you are not a couple, you're single now. So you should care about how you feel. Um, so delete your numbers of your phone, change your ringtone, if possible, change your text messages because your brain is programmed to like associate that ringtone with them. So once you change that ringtone, you'll be surprised that um, you know, that would be very helpful. And also, my next tip would be to um, realize that things would get better. <laughs> and it's hard to see how things could get better or how this could be a blessing in disguise. But um, looking back now, I can see what God was doing. I was in so much pain, but I did the breaking up though. But um, I even before I, while I do while doing it, I was still in a lot of pain because I really loved them and I wanted to, things to work. But God kept saying no. And I knew it was time to go. So Christian dating as a child of God is different from a holy dating. So that means you have to do things differently, you have to talk to God differently, reach out to God differently, and know that he has a plan for you. And my last final step would be to um, actually know that you cannot date anybody else. Because <laughs> I know um, when you are going to a breakup, the, your first reaction is to reach out to that person, to make you feel better, you're looking for validation for somebody else. You're trying to see if you can, like, 
you know um date somebody real quick and get over them the, the worst thing you can do to yourself is a rebound breakup um it's a bad idea don't do it never do it um if you had covid for example the next thing you're gonna do is quarantine yourself right so once you've dated for them for too long or it could be you could you could, you could it could be somebody you've been talking to for a while it could be you dated for a while because what you're married to the next thing shouldn't be jumping to a relationship uh you shouldn't be on dating you shouldn't be on dating side you shouldn't be going on dates at least a, a good word of a good rule is that you shouldn't go on dates or date somebody else until you know that you don't you can't compare them to somebody else you know how because you don't get because you haven't gotten over them you're trying to find anybody else that's a bad idea so the best way to kill yourself is to go on a lockdown and just stop dating no dates nothing this is your time the moment you cannot sit still and actually spend time with yourself that's when you know you're in trouble so um definitely do be on a lockdown and the final tip i know i said that was my final tip but my final tip for the last thing is get counseling um get mentorship get people to talk to and people you talk to you make sure there are people that actually support that breakup because if you talk to people that don't support it they will make you feel bad like you have to go back and get this person especially when you know god said break off that relationship um and i also have other points that i would give um i think another point that really helped me is i know i said f final but i keep getting more ideas i think another because i didn't write it down i'm just winging it and then i think another point would be that you should forgive yourself i think this is so key because when you get out of a relationship um what i did was i wrote down things that i didn't like in the relationship things that he did things that i did um why i cannot go back i wrote i had a whole list like i had a whole list why i couldn't go back why it wasn't the one god wanted for me why i what mistakes i made i wrote on a list in my little pad and once the times where i would miss him or i you know times where i wanted to go back or reach out and call him i would um go back to this list i'm like okay this is what he did this is what he did this is what he did, this is what he did. and i did that for a while and it really worked but what happened on the flip side was because i wrote down those lists of bad things that happened I didn't balance it out with good things that happened. So it got to a point where I could only see those bad things. And I was like, how could I have said that long? Why did I have to end that long? Um, why didn't I do this and that? And if you had done this, done that, done that, and that. I could. So I had to learn to forgive myself. Um, not only forgive myself, but forgive him also. So um, make sure that you learn to forgive yourself. And it's a process. It's a journey. It's a thing that you take gradually day by day. And as you do this, you will see changes. I know it's it's hard to see now, but you know the same way you get a, a a scar or you get a wound and you heal over time. That's exactly how breakups work, right? You learn to stay in that moment. Don't avoid it. Don't date somebody else. Don't jump to that person. Don't try to numb it with pain or anything like that. Um, forgive yourself. Forgive yourself. Forgive yourself. Like forgive. Even times where you want to go back and you make the mistakes, you make slip ups forgive yourself and let go of that guilt and try to let go of that guilt um another thing that really helped me was i did a lot of fasting um i fasted for about i was gonna fast for i think um two weeks but i think it ended up being a, a 40 day fast i think because i felt i felt but i felt so much better and that was a, a fast of so ties um um, because as you date someone, you get attached to them, and you like them, and you your souls can start, start to bind. Even if you didn't have any sexual interrelationship, but if things got really close, you really cared about them, it's, chances are that you were too tied to them. So what you can do is actually learn to um, break that tie by bringing them fasting. And I will come back with more tips. So like, share, and subscribe to this video, and I will surely reach out back for more explanations. If you have any questions, don't feel free to leave them in the comment section while I wait on this video. I'll pick I hope this video goes well actually. I just posted it out of random. I don't know why.